It's quarter past eight and here I am in Tesco in Lowestoft and this is Karen. Yes it is, yes. And you were just telling me Karen that I need to call at Hunstanton. Yeah, to see Rob. To see Rob? Yeah. Oh right, <laughs> and who's Rob? <laughs> he's, um, he's the cafe um, manager there. Ah right, okay. And obviously he'll do you a breakfast like I've just done for you. <laughs> That's wonderful. You know, they're all lovely people around here, real friendly and everything. Yeah, and they I are, was yeah. saying to you earlier, I use Tesco a lot because I really like the Tesco Scotch eggs. And yeah. So I, I, I use the Tesco Scotch eggs. You can get two for 75p, which is like really cheap. I mean, you get what you pay for. But yeah, the, exactly, yeah. But I, I always take a couple in a rucksack for, for a bit of extra energy if I need it. Mm -hmm. um, and I use Tesco a lot. I think it's great. Yeah. And uh, the breakfasts, I mean, look at this breakfast. That is incredible. And it's, it's only just over six quid and it gives me all the calories I want. Really good value. Good, I'm glad about that. So how long have you worked here then, Karen? Uh, four and a half years. Right. It's a nice part of the world, isn't it? Yes, uh, it is. It's lovely, yeah. Especially uh, when it's nice and sunny and you can walk along the beach. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thank you very much indeed. You're welcome. And I look forward to hearing from you. Send okay. me a message. Yeah, that, okay. That and enjoy your breakfast. Thank you very much, cold. Karen. Thank you. <laughs> okay, bye thank bye. you. Bye. morning it's Monday the 24th of June and here I am at the let me look at the name again the Flying 15s cafe on the South Beach at Lowestoft it's been a fantastic weekend in lots of ways it's been so busy I haven't had time to stop and think about anything really I've been doing lots of computer work and keeping an eye on things I've done two long walks, I made good progress yesterday all the way up to Great Yarmouth and uh, I walked the other day as well, I've done pretty well and today what I'm doing is I've got three objectives and that's to tie up some loose ends because you may remember when I arrived here on Saturday there was a big festival going on on the South Beach with all these people on a stage on the beach and it got very very busy and then the following day if you remember I moved on up to the north end of Lowestoft so that I could walk out of the city without getting gridlocked because the 24 hour festival was still in full swing on Sunday morning so I walked up to Yarmouth so today it's a case of sort of dotting the I's and crossing the T's and filling in the gaps so I've just stopped here for a my first cup of, first bought cup of tea of the day and it's absolutely red hot this morning it's absolutely beautiful and I'm going to walk from the point where the concert was where I left and uh, caught a bus all the way back to Southwold and uh, and I'm going to walk through to to where I stayed overnight on Sunday and I had that wonderful big breakfast in a in a nearby pub before setting off walking up the coast and so that's my first intention then when I get back to the van I'll be driving up to Great Yarmouth which is where I finished the walk yesterday not quite in the town centre but not far off and I'll be bridging that gap as well from that bus stop all the way through to Great Yarmouth and possibly even further and I don't know quite how far I'm going to get but there's a place called Caister on Sea and another place called Winterton on Sea, which I know that the buses go to those two particular places. Now after that, it gets complicated. It's a three day walk from Winterton to Cromer. And I don't particularly want to do that on my own, or uh, I could well do with assistance. Now, just to jump the story a little bit, Ralph called me this morning, it was very nice to hear from him and Ralph wants to come back so I'm going to save that part of the walk from Winston-on-Sea to uh, up to Cromer for when Ralph is here because we'll have two vehicles, we won't have to mess about with buses and there's not many sort of bigger places up there and the bus uh, goes quite a long way inland which might make it awkward and put extra miles on so it'll be far easier with two people and he's going to let me know when he's going to come back he wants to come back 
Um, his mum's still in hospital and from what he was telling me she's not likely to be coming out and the family have gathered on a couple of occasions but uh, it's just what can I say it, it's uh, he won't be able to come for a while but uh, he, he will be coming what I'm going to do then because there is a, a very good bus service that runs all the way around from Cromer to Hunstanton I'll be able to manage that perfectly well on my own and while I'm on my own uh, I, I may as well as get on with it and then it's it's less to do when Ralph comes and we'll be able to we'll, we'll have quite a lot of sort of mopping up as I call it doing these going back to do a walk we'll, we'll be able to do that much quickly much more efficiently and we'll know exactly what we're doing and so that's my plan so as I say the first the first job is this part the the uh, south beach here uh, to the north uh, to the north end of the town at Felixstowe then on to uh, from Yarmouth up to Winston on sea and then I'm going to drive to Cromer and try and find a campsite somewhere around or in Cromer ideally because the weather forecast for tomorrow is not good it's forecast rain it would be the ideal opportunity for me to uh, be on a campsite with the uh, hookup so that I can edit the films and send it to YouTube on time. I don't want to get too far behind with this. It's very easy by to, to do film two days without actually editing because it's very easy to forget what you did and it makes the job an awful lot longer. So it's a case of making hay while the sun shines and it's a glorious day, as I say, it's probably sitting here it's around about 25 degrees it's absolutely glorious it's fantastic good news as well on the uh, on the front of YouTube where I've been begging you for subscriptions well this morning when I well just before I left I'd got 956 subscriptions so I only need another 44 and the job's done so I'd like to say to all of you, thank you very, very much for, uh, for helping. It's been terrific. So I'm going to have my tea before it gets cold. Then I'm going for probably about a five, ten mile walk. Uh, a ten mile walk from Cromer up to Winterton. And then I'll go and have a beer and find a campsite and chill out for a day or two. So now that Ralph is back with us, you know what he would say if he was here? He would say, Here we go! So this is where the stage was in the kind of big white tent and those are the bags of sand that would have anchored it down and it looks as if there's still quite a lot of clearing up to do. I've not heard any reports from anybody as to whether it was a success or not but I'm going to ask one or two questions of one or two of these people who own these huts. They might know the answer to that one. Well, I thought I'd ask someone who was involved in this, uh, and, and this is Andy. And uh, Andy, I, I arrived here on uh, Saturday afternoon at about four o'clock when it was just more or less getting, uh, the numbers were growing yeah. quite rapidly. How yeah. did it go after that? Oh, it was fantastic. It was one of the best festivals I've ever been to. It was so positive, It was it's local, and I think it, it remained local. Um, obviously people came from far and wide to come to it, which is brilliant. Yes. Um, but I think that there were so many local people who came who were given an optimism about this, yes. which um, you need that when a place like Lowestoft has lost so much over years. Yes. And now it's, it's, um, it's got this amazing festival, which was free. Yes. So yeah, yes, it's great. Absolutely. Because I was I, I was actually I walked up from Southwold that day and I was okay. with a, I was with a couple uh, very nice people uh, a guy who would who used to surf actually on on the on the beach down uh, as you as you're coming in okay and he was telling me that 20 years ago that beach wasn't there yeah and, and I, yeah the, as the, as the as changes as and yeah, one thing 30 another. years ago I used to go down to the pier and make sand castles so yeah. my sculpture which was on the beach here was a sand sculpture um, I did see it actually yeah <laughs> it was made out of waste packaging it's yes. called sandscapes and I was yes. trying to get people to think about 
all the waste packaging that we're making. And, yes. And I've never had an experience where such a wide variety of people from different backgrounds positively interacted with the work. Excellent. So I think that if they can make it happen again, and the team here, Genevieve Christie, uh, Lizzie and Wayne Hemingway, if they can make it happen again, which I, I hope it will, I think it will just go from strength to the strength. Absolutely. And, 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 and I mean, let me put you this way. I, I walk along the coast of, of, of the UK yeah. and I, I've walked through thousands and thousands of places, all different. I don't pass judgment on any of them, no. if you understand what I mean. Uh, yeah, exactly. But I've got to say, I'm, I'm very impressed with Lowestoft, and, and I can see what they say. It, it, it looks a little bit run down in places, and it's an industrial place. And I am from Hull, yeah, and so there's Hull and Grimsby and Lowestoft, yeah, who used to be involved yeah. in, in, in the fishing industry, and, the, and that bit industry disappeared yeah. overnight. And it'll take it'll take three or four generations to kind of fully yeah, recover from that. Definitely. And so, uh, if a council are forward thinking enough to want to do some promotions like this, which is not necessarily aimed at younger people, but it, but it, it gives them an interest in their own the place where they live. And, definitely. And they look at it in a different light. And it, yeah. And, yeah, and I definitely. think it's a brilliant way of doing it. Well, and I'm from Hull, where they've just had the city of culture. Yeah. And, and look what that exactly. did. Exactly. And I think that um, pride, hope. Uh, for the future is exactly what the, uh, the locals want and need yes. and um, and I'm, I'm local so yeah I think that 50 miles of coastline and this is one small part which is just a beautiful yes. place to be. Yes absolutely well that's that's fantastic and you've, you've summed it up so eloquently brilliant <laughs> uh, thank you very much indeed so you're going to be coming next year then obviously. oh you try and stop me. <laughs> Do you think this might encourage them to have these kind of things more often? Maybe? I think it will I think that um, and I heard Wayne Hemingway speaking on the news and he said about we just need to loosen up about our spaces that we all use, like the beaches, and do things. Yes. And there's obviously, you know, infrastructure is hard to do on the beach and things like yes. that. But I would say that this is just an example of where getting something done rather than worrying about if it can be done. Yes. It, and they just got it done and it yes. worked. Yes. Are they going to do something like that in Sea? Yarmouth as an example? I mean, I did notice actually when I walked out of. Uh, I walked out of Suffolk into Norfolk without realising actually yeah. because the sign was to my back. <laughs> and, and when I got up to Hopton and yeah. beyond there, I, yeah. was in, I was all of a sudden in, uh, I was looking at Norfolk. Well, we, won't we won't judge you badly. No, no, <laughs> no. But uh, no, but anyway, look. Thank you very much indeed for your thank time. You, it's been, it's been an much. absolute pleasure meeting you. Brilliant. And, and, and thank you for that. That Thanks was a lovely report. Indeed. Brilliant. Thank, thank you very much.
1.30 now and I'm probably within about half an hour of getting back to the van. It's been a considerable change in the weather. It's gone uh, rather cool actually. The wind, the wind's picked up a little bit but not too bad. But the sun's gone and there's a, a quite a, a, a light covering of cloud but it uh, doesn't mean to say that we're not going to see the sun again. But as I say it has, it has calmed down. So my intention now is just to go back to the van which is maybe about half an hour away and uh, have a bit of a rest, a cup of tea, bite to eat, check up on the on YouTube and you know why and I can feel a few spots of rain as I'm speaking to you as well now so um, I've got the intention then of driving up to Great Yarmouth and carry on walking from there heading north and I won't know quite what I'm going to fit in until I actually get there and study the bus timetables. So that's more or less uh, by the time I get back that will have got rid of that little link up where walking from the south to the north of Lowestoft that fits into the, uh, into the story and as I say I'll try and continue later.
Good afternoon. It's Tuesday the 25th of June and it's around half past two. A little bit of a late start this afternoon. I'm not worried about that at all because what I'm doing is quite simple. I'm walking from Cromer heading in a westerly direction which is rather unusual isn't it? Um, for those of you who know your geography you'll know that this is the more or less the only northern walk in on the east coast and uh, along to like Hunstanton and towards the Wash uh, which is my uh, eventual destination to sort of Kings Lynn and the A149 I think it is uh, maybe the 148 I'm not sure takes you all the way around there and they've got a very very good bus service which is designed very much for walkers there's three separate buses. I'm told that there's an hourly service, which is excellent. So what that means is I've left the van here in Cromer, managed to find a really good uh, place to park um, out, right outside Halfords, which as you know, I've stayed outside Halfords many times. I went in there this morning to buy a, a new right side mirror because the other one fell off. Fortunately, I've got a spare, but I always like to carry another spare with me. And uh, I didn't get here until late yesterday afternoon because I did a walk uh, yesterday in uh, down in Lowestoft from the South Beach to the North Beach, just to fill in the gap from when I was there the day before where I stopped at the South Beach and there was a festival and it was too crowded to park so I went to the north of the town and walked that stretch yesterday morning. I also did an awful lot of computer work and had some very interesting conversations with uh, my daughter who has been helping me to rearrange my computer so that uh, we can now put on the giving page which is working perfectly okay and I noticed that several people have, have also um, donated to the site already. So I'm delighted to see at long last that that is working properly. So I'm going to go back tonight to the same place, to park outside of Halfords. And then I'll move on like tomorrow uh, when I've finished tomorrow's walk and uh, keep on heading towards Hunstanton. So I've got no idea how far I'm going to walk today. I'm just going to go as far as I can uh, and get a bus back. I think my peace might be disturbed here. I'll come back to you in a minute. It was a group of disabled people walking up the, or being pushed up this rather steep hill by uh, 
uh, various people and it took rather a while and I've forgotten what I was saying but I'll, I'll make it up as I go along as I usually do wanting not to waffle on for too long yes I say my daughter uh, we, we had a, probably two hours on the uh, computer yesterday she was calling me from Manchester and she was talking me through how to install uh, the program and so on and it's amazing in the 15 months that I've been walking how I seem to have lost a lot of my IT skills maybe because I've been doing more or less the same thing day after day after day week in week out for 15 months all relative to this walk and very little else apart from Facebook and YouTube so I had to be helped through it and she kept, she rang me again last night just to make sure that everything uh, was going okay but having done some walking and some driving my head was just absolutely full of it uh, but I did manage to to get the thing moving and Sam was such a fantastic patient teacher and her IT skills are far superior to mine and it was absolutely wonderful so if you're watching Sam thanks from your dear old dad and I'm looking forward to seeing you in Grimsby on the 14th of July with the grandkids and Rick and we'll, we'll have a good day together and I can't wait for that so tonight I'm going to be ringing my friend Bry to have a natter because I am so close to crossing the line uh, for the number of subscribers that I need I, I want to get to a thousand and this morning when I left the van there was 981 so it looks as if I'm gonna make it but I'm not gonna celebrate until I have so I'm gonna set off now I'm just to say walking as far as I can walk or as far as I want to walk with a view to getting back here something around about like 8 o'clock this evening so I'll do my very best I only did a fairly short walk yesterday I feel quite rested I had a, a good night's sleep and uh, even though I've been busy on my computer again this morning and I've just put on the latest vlog which I hope you enjoy um, I'm catching up to date slowly and I will eventually get round to sending messages to all of you people personally if you sent a message for, to me I'm going to send you on back but I just ask you to be patient and thank you very much indeed for all of the new subscribers and also to the new people on Facebook of which there are a couple of hundred have probably joined over the weekend and that is just unbelievable and uh, that's why I've got inundated and that's why I've got a little bit sort of tired because I'm doing an awful lot more computer work than I've ever done in my life I think <laughs> but I'm feeling very happy today very relaxed and uh, looking forward to getting on with this walk the weather's a little bit changeable the sun's just poking through occasionally there's a slight stiff breeze coming from the west which I'll be walking against and uh, there's lots of people around walking in t-shirts and stuff I've got to get warmed up first and then I'll probably strip down and uh, there's going to be plenty of cups of tea along this walk I'm sure and that's great news so one last thing Ralph phoned me yesterday everything's okay um, his mum's in hospital and uh, it's unlikely that she'll be coming out that's all I can say on the subject and Ralph is very keen to come back and when uh, that will be I've no idea but in the meantime the reason I've moved up here to Cromer just in case you're wondering, wondering is that it's a very rough path from Great Yarmouth to uh, Cromer because of the public transport situation and that's when I'm going to need someone to walk me walk with me with the vehicle so that with the logistics will be made so much easier and uh, I'm still waiting to hear from Ray to, to to find out whether his daughter's given birth so there's a lot going on and I would imagine that my friend Peter should be somewhere around soon after spending some time with his wife in their caravan in Scarborough 
So, if my friend Ralph was here, and for those of you who don't know who Ralph is, he's a very nice Welsh guy that I met on the Pembrokeshire Coastal Path, and he's been to walk with me on two or three occasions now. Lovely, lovely chap, and I can't wait for him to come back and see him again. So, if he was here, he would say, <laughs> here we go. Talk. <laughs> You're going to talk to me? Hello. Mr. Pickles. Are you Mr. Pickles? Ah. Ah, you big fella, aren't you? Look at you. You're a big boy, aren't you? Eh? <laughs>
So I've met Sally and she's with her husband who's a bit camera shy and he, he <laughs> doesn't really want to say anything so we're not going to embarrass him by showing him but he's a very nice guy but he's, it, this isn't for everybody. So Sally I've just seen you both walking along, you're coming at me at a different direction but you know, and um, you were telling me that you are actually avid walkers then, you've done, you've done quite a few challenges in the past. Yeah, we've walked um, a lot of the coast. We walked, we went to the northeast last year. Yes. Um, we've been on the Jurassic Coast down in Somerset. That's is it? stunning, <laughs> isn't it? I loved it. That was my favourite. It's Dorset, actually. Dorset, okay. Yeah, Dorset. That, Durdle Door and Lulworth Co. And all we've those. We've walked places. the Isle of Wight. Yes. Um, yeah, we walk everywhere we go. Excellent. How so long have you been doing that then? Have you over the uh, years? Oh, I'd say ten years or so. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's you know it's, it's it's lovely to see these people now. I mean, I, I, I talk about this quite often. I mean, I reckon ninety nine percent of the population of Britain's never even seen a coastal path, never mind walk on it. You Do know you what think I mean? so? Yeah, yeah. I mean, when you think about maybe it. it's an age thing. <laughs> I don't well, think I would have done it when I was young. <laughs> well, no, well, that's true. I mean, it's fine in the time, isn't it? I mean, yeah. most people who are in the retirement age, mm -hmm. you know, they've got to fill the days with something, and they've yeah. got a few quid in the pocket all of a sudden, and they get out and about and see the country and stuff. And, and, and I'm, I'm encouraging more of those people to get on the, on the coastal yeah. path. Oh, I love the coastal paths. Yes. Love them. It's got a magic, hasn't it? And yeah. everybody's so decent and we're all like-minded and everybody yeah. says hello. It's dead friendly. And the sea's different every time you see it. Yes, absolutely. I mean, today is not a perfect walking day, is it? No, you can't it see very no. much, but no. it's still lovely to be out. Well, I mean, I'm surprised that we've actually got out because the forecast was awful a couple <laughs> of days ago. I, I mean, I heard, the, I heard the rain on my roof from a van last night beating down. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I was up early at four o'clock editing like yesterday's film, yeah. and, and it was still raining. But uh, it, well, you can tell it's bad weather because I've got big boots on, and yes. the rest of the week I didn't have my boots. On. Yeah, I mean, I've got to be honest. I, I wear trainers all of the time. Yeah, uh, I've, I've worn boots on four days in this yeah. what 470 days I've been walking, and uh, so yeah, it's it's been it's been a great experience of meeting you know lovely people like yourselves. Uh, <laughs> so. All the best to you. Hope, Thank you very you much. Enjoy. So enjoy where are you heading now, by the way? Uh, we're going to West Runton. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, there's, there's, a a, there's a nice pub there, so that's oh, where we're really? yeah. <laughs> I noticed they've got... Uh, we're, we're nearly in West Runton now. Yeah, nearly we? then, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say... I've but what's been... great about this part of the coast is you can walk as far as you want and get the bus back. Yes. I love that, because you yes. can keep going. You don't have to yeah. think, oh, it's getting dark. Yeah, that's or... right. Well, I've left my van in, in uh, Cromer and I'm walking as, as far as yeah. I want to sort of thing. But yeah. I fancy, I, I really like starting early in the morning and, yeah. and, and you know, you can have a, a really good walk then. I, I mean, I didn't start until two o'clock. Well, so, you couldn't really go out the door till two o'clock, could you? <laughs> well, no, exactly. And, and, and it, uh, to me, like doing five or six miles is better, better than doing no yeah. miles at all. Yeah. I spend far too much time. And you've got a lovely there. part of the coast to go, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. you'll really enjoy it. It's lovely and lots of birds. Yes. Yeah. Lovely to meet you, Sally. Yep, you Thank too. You very much All indeed. the best and Thank to you. your wife. Bye bye. Thank bye. you. Bye bye.
it's 5.40 now and uh, the streets that seemed to be pretty full earlier on look pretty deserted now. On saying that a lot of the places will have closed quite obviously but I think this weather has probably put a few people off today. Started off rain this morning, didn't expect to do any walking at all to be honest with you but didn't say it stopped, thought well, I'll give it a shot. I didn't intend to do any further than Sheringham even though with good intention you think well I'll walk further but uh, it sort of kind of a sea rock came in, it was like a mist sort of descended upon us and it turned quite cool. I couldn't really get any good shots after that really so I thought well there's no point in carrying on, it's only going to get worse. Plus the fact that I was up really early this morning editing which was a, quite a big edit really, it was about a five hour job and that, that can be more exhausting than walking. But I've got a nice telephone conversation tonight with my mate Bry and uh, it'll be good to get back to the van early, good to get a good early night as well and uh, I'll be making a very early start in the morning. I like to get up early and get out and uh, all I've got to do is make a decision how I'm going to do it, whether I'm going to drive the van further on and get a bus back to here. I've just picked up a, a bus timetable from the very pleasant driver who was telling me that he was a walker and uh, a bit of a chat with him about the buses and stuff and he gave me some sound advice and uh, so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it yet and I really could do with a much longer sleep I'm only getting like five six hours sleep all of a sudden whereas at one time I could you know just get into bed and crash out and kind of lay there for sort of seven eight hours I can't do that anymore I think I think that's because I've had that much on my mind really you know a lot more than normal with all this computer work and the now I'm fundraising and there's been this business with getting people to sort of join me on YouTube as subscribers there's all the excitement of that as well and I'm back to where I was yesterday where I was hoping to get back to the van and see that magic figure 1000 well I only had 19 to go this morning so I'll have a celebration with Bri later on I'll have a beer on him so that's about it it's been a good day I've enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you tomorrow